The Goodyear children dug in the neighboring farmers' fields for potatoes to eat. Farmers gave them free milk. Many times that winter, Goodyear considered giving up. But then he would experience a minor breakthrough, and success would seem so close that he had to continue. And now, after five long years, it seemed he had done it. He stopped in the winter night to examine the charred piece of rubber in his hand. How had it happened? The last few moments were a blur. He had gone to the mercantile to demonstrate his new mixture of rubber and sulfur to the men gathered there. When they laughed at him, he responded in disgust, forcefully flipping a small piece of the rubber-sulfur mixture in his hand onto the nearby stove. He wanted a storm from the store, but rubber and sulfur cost money. So he went to the stove to pick up the piece he imagined had melted on the hot surface. But instead of softening, the rubber had charred like leather, and on the edge of the charred section was a brown rim, where the rubber had perfectly cured. Heat was what had been missing. The transformation of rubber from a useless substance to a resilient product was as simple as adding a missing process, heat, in the form of steam. Goodyear named the process vulcanization after the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. Today it is hard to imagine life without Goodyear's rubber. There would be no electricity, no cars, no computers, no bicycles, no radios or televisions, no phones. We wouldn't have airplanes, washing machines, or toasters. We wouldn't even have our favorite pair of old sneakers. Years later, those chronicling his life called Goodyear's moment of discovery an accident. Goodyear strongly disagreed. He argued that if he had not applied himself most perseveringly to the subject, the accident would have had no meaning. He asserted that he was the only man whose mind was prepared to draw an inference from the incident. In other words, he was prepared and ready to go when the rubber hit the sizzling pot-bellied stove. Goodyear was a visionary. Not only could he see a future that others could not, he was the only man in a crowded room to recognize the introduction of heat to sulfur and rubber for what it was, a revolutionary, transformational, acceleration process. We've found that in business, there are leaders who are visionaries. They see the untapped potential of their workforces and believe it is possible to reach higher. They have spent years experimenting with their leadership styles. They have consulted mentors, read business books, and attended seminars. Through their efforts, they have brought their employees a long way toward reaching their maximum potential but not all the way. And there's the rub. Show us any leader who sets clear goals, communicates openly, respects people and treats them fairly, holds people accountable and creates trusting relationships, and we'll show you a leader who's almost got it right. Show us an organization where people are coming to work on time, doing their jobs and feel satisfied, and we'll show you an organization that is close to achieving its full potential. Show us some good management books that promise to transform your organization from ordinary to extraordinary, and we'll show you wisdom that will push you nearer to your goals than you've ever gotten before. Almost, closer, nearer. Some would argue they are good words. For some leaders, they might even be good enough. But for those of us who are determined to reach beyond the ordinary to our maximum potential, almost there is a frustrating place to be. What we need is an accelerator. Scientists have known the secret of accelerants for decades, adding them to speed up chemical reactions, achieving results more quickly. Accelerators work the same way in business, making the things you're doing work better faster and more smoothly, without throwing you or your organization off balance. It may sound like magic, but it isn't. The relationship between a management accelerant and improved business results is highly predictable. In fact, an accelerant is the missing ingredient that will bridge the gap between where your team is now and where it can be. And in the workplace, there is no accelerator with more...